A very good morning and welcome back. We are here together and you can see the beautiful Kanchanjunga view just right behind me and you can have a look at the beautiful view of the complete range. So we are here with another blessing day but we have missed out yesterday's blessing and we are lucky enough to have the blessings of both the days that is yesterday's and today's being recorded in this very present video. So let's have a look at what Godfather has to say in today's blessing. Supreme Godfather, he wants us to be completely happy that is receive happiness and give happiness to others what does that mean so let us understand that god says may you always have a right to super sensuous joy a joy which is beyond the five senses is only attainable when we are meditating with the supreme creator by considering ourselves to be a spark or a light or a soul within i am a soul and supreme creator the great godfather or the creator is also a spark or a noor or a light and he is also Somebody who is giving us happiness, constant happiness, constant peace, provided we are connected to Him. God says, may you always have a right to super sensuous joy, which is attained by connecting to the Creator, in Brahman life, by giving and receiving happiness. So, how do we do that? Those who have a right to super sensuous joy, constantly swing in the swing of happiness with the Father. So, are we swinging in the swing of happiness with the Father? Or are we trying to swing in the swing of happiness from things around us, from buying things, from attainments in the physical world, from our own physical body? Are we doing that? One is permanent and one is temporary. You can decide which one is it. And God then says, They would never have the thought, this one has caused me a lot of sorrow because they have attained so much of love and happiness from God that they don't expect anything from this world. So they are expecting everything from the Supreme Creator. No expectations from anybody. So even if somebody is saying foul words, even if somebody is demeaning you or putting you down, these souls who are in constant meditation, if you are that person, if you are in constant meditation with God, then you don't feel anything bad. So this one has caused me a lot of sorrow. They won't say that. They have promised not to cause sorrow or take sorrow. One is to cause sorrow to others. And other, other is to take sorrow from anybody. They have so much of tolerance. So much of patience because of soul knowledge, because of the world knowledge, because of whatsoever they have learned in Brahma Kumaris, that they don't feel any kind of sorrow from anybody in this world too. Then God says, even if someone forcefully causes it, you would not accept it. Even if somebody is trying to give you sorrow and blaming you, complaining about you, you will not take it. You will accept only when God tells you something, not when people tell you something. A Brahmin soul is someone who is always happy because they have so much of self-love. That means they have so much of soul-conscious love, soul-conscious happiness. The duty of Brahmins is to give happiness and receive happiness. One is to give happiness and receive happiness. Even if somebody is not giving us happiness, we just move away from there. Even if somebody is insulting us, we just move away from there. Because we don't need neither happiness from them, nor do we accept any kind of disregard from them. Both the things only from the Supreme Godfather. Even the Supreme Godfather doesn't disregard us, he gives us only love, but he tells us what are the mistakes that we do on a daily basis. What are we lacking in? But when a human being tells you, you might take revenge, you might get sad, you might get mood off. But when God tells you what are the mistakes within you, we take it lightly and we take ourselves lightly and we try to change ourselves. Then God says, they are souls who are embodiments of happiness living in a world of happiness. So, we are happy because we have received the complete knowledge about the Creator at the end of these times which are going around. Open your TV and have a look where there is peace in this world. Have a look where there is no war in this world. Have a look where there is no natural calamity going on. The world is coming to a brink and coming to a complete transition from hell, that is Kalyuk, to heaven very soon. And Godfather is giving us this knowledge to have complete happiness and take happiness with us when we go back home. You too can achieve that by attending the seven-day course at Brahma Kumaris and learning the crux of this knowledge with this Om Shanti.